So I saw a patient today. Uh, this was the story. She's in her in her thirties. All she did was stretch like that in the morning. Basically, a stretch. And as she was stretching, she extended her knees out the way we normally do when we stretch, and she felt a pop, like a big pop, like people heard it from uh, across uh, the house. They wonder what happened. She had anterior knee pain. All she did was stretch. I've seen this before. I actually saw it not that long ago in a police officer. Same thing. He was in therapy, stretched, pop. Everybody heard. I saw it a couple days ago in a golfer, minor little chip shot, pop. Same thing. Excruciating pain. So what's going on with these patients that are feeling this, this uh, popping sensation in front of the knee? This is what's happening. Let me show you. It's patella subluxation. This is a model of a right knee, okay? Fibula, tibia, femur, patella, patella tendon, quadriceps tendon. The patella is in a groove. There's a groove there. So what happens is this uh, quadriceps pulls during the stretch. There's a little bit of hyperextension to the knee. Let me show you what happens when you hyperextend the knee. See how the patella floats a little bit? That's really important. So the patient I saw today, she was actually hyperflexible. She had hyperextension of her knees like this. And this is what happened. She stretched, she pulled, and she had a little bit of a valgus leg already. Valgus, so increased Q angle, increased Q angle. So stretched, hyperextension, pull, boop, pops back in. Okay, so that's the pop. The pop is patella goes out, snaps back in. So once again, this is what happens. Let me show you on my knee, okay? So stretch, hyperextension, and as soon as you get a little bit of valgus, the vector, the force vector changes. So instead of just going up, you go like this, you pull, patella pops out. Patella pops up, pops back in, and you get a subluxation. So if we look at the knee now, the skeleton of the knee, okay, this is a cross section of the leg. So a cross section, we're looking at it like this. That's what we're looking at. Like I showed you, patella's right there. Cross section of the knee. Uh, this is a trochlea, trochlea is a groove. And the patella is, the bottom of the patella is shaped like the hull of a boat. The hull of a boat and it fits right in here. So when, when it subluxates, subluxates pops back in. Two things usually happen. You end up getting a looseness of the ligament on the medial side uh, because it stretched. And you get a bone bruise, sometimes a bone bruise here, sometimes a bone bruise there. and and uh, or, and then you get damage to the undersurface of the boat. That's what I call it, the boat hole. So if you get damage under here, we call it chondromalacia patella. If you get a stretched out ligament over here, we call it persistent instability or patella maltracking. So uh, what do we do about this? This is what this is actually the message that I want to pass on today. Number one, if you experience a clunk. Uh, especially with hyperextension of the knee or a minor movement, you might have subluxated your patella. And number two, if you subluxated your patella, you can cause some further some damage to the areas that will either lead to further subluxations or pain in the front of the knee. So if this has happened to you and you have persistent pain in the front of the knee, especially with going up and down stairs, you probably damaged the undersurface of the patella. You don't want to wait too long. You can kind of wait, stretch a little bit, but get an MRI at some point because you probably have some chondral damage. So that was a lesson for today. Patella subluxation, very little trauma. I showed you what uh, the perfect storm situation is. A pull, valgus, hyperextension, and anterior knee pain with a clunk. And, and uh, very classic finding for patella subluxation. So Dr. Moore saying over and out, I hope everybody stays healthy, stays strong, and be good. Thank you.